Today we're looking at three uh, controls that are on the uh, window of the C-sharp uh, graphics user interface or GUI, G-U-I. And uh, these three controls are the button, the text box, and the list box. And like just about everything in object-oriented uh, C-sharp, controls your objects. And as objects, they have methods and properties. And controls also have events that allow them to interact with the user. And the methods, properties, and events of controls also allow them to interact with each other. So to demonstrate all this interacting, let's create a new project. We'll name this uh, btn underscore txt underscore lbx for three uh, Hungarian notation prefixes often used with these controls. And when the uh, form comes up, we we'll expand this out a bit by dragging the uh, sizing rectangle. And two major panes we need for this type of development, no pun intended, are the toolbox, which is the way I have it set up over on the left, and the properties pane, which is over on the right. And in order to put a button on the uh, form, uh, well, there's a couple ways. You could just double click it, and that'll cause a button to appear and move it to wherever you want it positioned. And to get a list box, you could also double click it, or you could click it and then drag it over, uh, position it over here. And we want this to be somewhat larger, so drag it like this. And then finally, to get the text box, double click and drag this over. And I guess line it up with the button. And the first thing I want to do is to rename these guys so that we know what we're dealing with. Button 1 really is, becomes pretty unclear, especially if you have 20 buttons. So call this BTN uh, text to list. And I always change the font because I find that font really hard to read. So I'll make this about uh, 12. And then to change the text that's on top of the button, you change the text property in the properties window. And we want to change this to something like uh, transfer to list. And then of course that's too big f to fit the current button. So we need to stretch this out. And then we want to do the same thing with the text box. And I use txt as the prefix for text box, what's known as Hungarian notation and call it maybe user input. And probably want to change the font on that too. Oh, I think I unclicked it. Be consistent and make all the fonts 12. And then on the list box, call this uh, LBX list. That shows a lot of imagination. And change the font property to be 
12 so that all the fonts look the same size. Sometimes you want different fonts for effect, but I think for this, all the same size would be about right. And the input's probably too small, so we'll stretch this out a bit. And you notice this little arrow on the uh, top of the whatever the selected control is. These are common uh, user uh, options. You know that, like quite often, you want to make this uh, multi-line, so you can just check this to make it multi-line. And in case of the list box. Uh, you might want to use uh, data bound items like if you're interacting with a database or something along those lines and in the case of the button well I guess there is no common uh, items for the button well if we save this I pretty much put everything in the same directory although it creates a separate subdirectory with that name and then we run it. You see without doing any programming at all we have a form with these three controls on it. But of course it doesn't do anything if you press the button nothing happens. You can put things in the text box but that doesn't do us much good. So essentially what we need is a way of interacting with the user and this way of interacting with the user is events and there's a default event for almost every object almost every control and the default event for a button not surprisingly is click so if we double click on the uh, the control we'll get the default event in the code that's behind the form so double click on that and here we see the btn text to list underscore click event and that has two parameters one's an object that says who called this event and uh, the sender object and then there's an event args which is almost always e and that is additional information that gets passed to the event or potentially gets passed to the event and as I said initially, the methods and properties of the other controls allow this control to interact with it. For instance, we can get whatever's in the text box with a property called text. So if I type txt, and it'll give me uh, possibilities almost immediately, and I just select that, and then press the dot which will cause that to get auto filled in and then start to type T E and text gets selected and I could for instance set this to be something when I push the button I could set it to be uh, cyborg magus and we save this and compile it and we come up and push this button and you see cyborg magus gets filled in but what we really want to do with this program is transfer information from the text box over to the list box so for this there's a method of the list box lbx list and I press a dot and that'll auto fill in and then we want to access the items collection which is the stuff that's in the list box so I go down to that and press enter and then do another dot and then the very first method add is the one we want so if I do a parentheses it'll auto fill in the add and then what we want to add is the text box so I could just delete this and put the text box in right into the uh, arguments to the uh, to that method and then if I save and run and move this more centered 
and I press uh, type in a name say Doug and then do transfer to list it goes from the text box to the list and that's pretty cool but one thing that I don't like about it is it leaves whatever is in there in the text box and we really want to clear the text box out uh, so we can type something else in to be transferred to the list so we want to fix that so we need to add a method from the text box txt user input press the dot to auto fill it in and then do cl and you'll see the clear method so that's pretty cool we save and run that and then do Doug transfer to list and you see it gets cleared out and then do uh, Karen and maybe Lonnie and Chemo I have no idea how to spell these names and you notice they're just put in in the order that uh, they're typed so it's just appending whatever I type to this list box and a way you can change that is with a property of the list box so if we go back to the form and we uh, look at the properties pane for the list box click on the list box to select it and then look at the properties pane you'll notice there's a property here called sorted and we can change that from false to true and then if we uh, save this and run it now if I start doing the same thing whoop, nothing in there if I type uh, Doug oh, I have a blank item in there that's pretty funny and then say uh, Alfred only the blank item comes before Alfred and then say Xena and I don't know Hercules notice these get inserted in alphabetical order because the sorted property is select selected as true but I actually want to can continue on with this form for a couple more lessons and I deliberately don't want this sorted so I'm going to go back and uh, change the sorted property to false and then save and recompile and run and that'll probably do it for this lesson well I hope you enjoyed this lesson and learned a lot and don't forget to subscribe